My name is Nicholas Baldessini and I was assigned to be the project manager for Project Conway. So the way that we landed on Project Conway is that we were looking for an application that would be different and impress anyone who looked at it. And one of our group members thankfully knew about John Conway's Game of Life and the amazing mathematical visuals of the program, and we decided to base our project on that. The purpose of the application has the same as any game, to provide a fun and enjoyable experience, but along with that, our application also adds on a strategic simulation aspect to the experience too. Through the creation of the project, I learned many new skills that weren't originally taught in the course, skills that as a group we had to learn on our own, which increased our independence such as learning GitHub, learning a graphic module for Java, learn how to create basic simulations, learn how to create huge multi-file projects in Java, and some other small technical skills. I would say that the most challenging part of this whole project was the unfortunate event of online learning. Our group's next step, when the quarantine was ordered, was to create the graphics and the translator plans to program. However, this was quite challenging to do online. In class, we would have to stand up every morning to organize our plan for the day, and it was quite difficult to do the, to be as efficient online. The most rewarding part about this whole journey was to able to see the final project come out. As a project manager, I was overseeing every part of the program and was able to experience the entire application from the first line to the thousandth line being written. And finally seeing the finished project altogether was quite rewarding. Hi, I'm Thomas, and I was a grade 12 student at St. Mike's this past year in the computer science program. My group for the final project decided to make a tutoring application called SMCS Learn that would help better connect students to possible tutors within the school community. Our group is lucky enough to be involved with the Maple Leafs Digital Labs, the technology behind MLSE. This extraordinary opportunity let us witness firsthand the strategies they put in place to complete their ongoing tasks. The biggest challenge we faced was one that we made ourselves. We wanted to expand the scope of the project given make it not only an application, but transform it into the use on the web. This goal led to lots of discussion with group members and self-learning, which helped me learn more than just the curriculum. Throughout these two years of computer science, these classes not only taught me foundational skills involved in coding multiple languages, but also changed my perspective when looking upon challenges. With so much possibility for minor mistakes, I learned how to adapt to changes required and be open-minded to new solutions. The feeling of finishing a project with a group of friends is a great way to end off the course. By working with your friends and overcoming a setback as one, you better appreciate each person's unique set of skills. I would like to say a quick thanks to Mr. Hofstadter for making the course what it is. He really expanded the curriculum and added the ability to meet professors down at Ryerson and also people who work at MLSE. I am really thankful for all the opportunities that I was given this past year.